Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training Videos and in this video I am going to show you how to install VMware ESX Host 6 step by step. So here is my environment. We have uh, one Active Directory server which is win 2 k 12 DC01. Here is my Active Directory server. I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on the server and this is acting as Active Directory and uh, DNS uh, server in my infrastructure. And the second server is my do uh, vCenter server which is vCenter 6. I have assigned 12 GB RAM and this server is joined in my domain. And you can see from here I have installed like uh, vCenter on this server and like vCenter vSpare web client and vSpare client is installed on this machine if you go here and if you want to log in you can log in and check this server so click on login And we have uh, uh, we required three ESX hosts for uh, this all demo environment. So so I have already installed my ESX2 and ESX3 on uh, for the like uh, for the demo environment. You can see it from here ESX02 and ESX03 is installed, but I did not install ESX01. And uh, w w this is we are going to record in this video and we are going to install in this video so from here you can see we have vCenter server and production and two ESX hosts so so we are going to install the ESX host on this video so for this we require the ISO file of ESX host so I am going to mount the ISO file for vCenter uh, ESX host 6 in my uh, virtual machine which is ESX01 so here it is VM visor installer 6 open it and just hit control to Dell so machine will reboot and here we have option to boot from like local hard drive or ESX inst uh, standard installation so launch the installer loading ESXi installer So now it's initializing the machine. So here we have we have a VMware ESXi 6, the build number, and uh, like uh, we have two CPU, and my CPU uh, in my machine is i7, so it's showing you the i7, and I have assigned 5 GB memory to this ESX host. All basically all. All all three ESX host I have assigned 5 GB RAM. So still booting up. So here is enter to continue and F11 to accept the accept and continue now it's scanning for devices which is connected with our ESX host so here we have only 40 GB uh, drive on our, our ESX host you can view from setting also we have one drive of 40 GB which is connected directly to ESX host so go ahead with this and default language US default click enter and set the admin credential uh, like root credential for our ESX host hit enter getting additional system information so F11 to install and now you can see the installation is started for ESX uh, 
is XI6 and it will not take long it like take only five minutes to get the installation done for ESX host and then it will ask you to reboot the server so 10% already done So ESX 6.0 installation has been successful. Press enter to reboot. So it's rebooting the server. So after this we need to do some post installation task for like for ESX source like renaming and uh, renaming this ESX source configuring the DNS I, DNS settings IP address and these things so let the boot the server up then we'll do the post info, uh, post installation task So here you can see the IP address is not mentioned so let's click F2 and customize your system and view logs so log in with your root account press F2 and we have option here just like set password uh, so I don't require to change the password right now so go to configure management network and under the IPv4 configuration we have to go and set static and type the IP address for your server so in my case is 241 and the, the default subnet mask for class C IP address and I want to disable the IPv6 for this and uh, under the DNS server I have to put like 192.168 254 and at the uh, host name I want to put 0 dot vector info soul dot com and custom DNS suffix hmm, like ESXI01 ESXi01 Victor Infosol com Hit enter so applying these changes is required also reboot so apply changes and reboot host yes I want to do it so restart in progress so once the rest uh, once the machine is rebooted we are able to see the IP config and host name which can def effect, uh, effect after rebooting so just wait for a few seconds so it's loading the ESXi OS
so after completing this uh, this installation we we have all the virt uh, all the virtual machines uh, which is required for this demo like mm, one active directory server one uh, uh, vcenter server and we have three ESXOs total So now you can see the uh, host name and IP address is configured on this server. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, please post me on my given main IDs. Thank, thank you once again. Bye bye.